Hello, y'all. You know, it wasn't too long ago we were talking about CDs and the first ones we ever bought. And you got to look at my CD rack. Well, you didn't see any vinyl there. That's because I pretty much got rid of all my vinyls, except some of my Beatle ones. So, I'm going to show you the Beatles Survivors. Are you ready? Let's begin. First one, The Beatles Story. Just a spoken word record, you know, there tells about their rise to fame and with interviews and snippets of their songs and stuff. Two albums set though, look, in a nice gatefold. I still have it. That's not all. Let's check out another one. Hear the Beatles tell all. It's another spoken word thing. You know, I didn't think I'd find these on CD, so I kept them. And this one's a VJ. Ooh. So, even though uh, Capital was releasing the other albums, VJ had to stay in the game somehow, right? So, hear the Beatles tell all, right? What else? The Beatles' rarities. Uh, this one's the American one, I believe. But that's not it. Another Beatles rarities. This time, from Europe. On the back it says, printed in Holland. Well, that's European anyway. I'm, it's not from this side of the pond. Let's see, what else have I got? Sessions. And this one's definitely from across the pond because it's from EMI Odeon. See? Mm. Nice revolvery picture there too. So, hey, wonder, what does one of these look like? Hey! Looks like that. Mm, not bad, huh? See? Not bad at all. Let's check out another one. The songs Lennon and McCartney gave away. Songs the two wrote and let other people record them, like Scylla Black and Peter and Gordon and Tommy Quickly. They all did their songs. They got the royalties. That's cool. And what's next? The Beatles, Not For Sale. And this was the first album I saw that had Leave My Kitten Alone and a few others I hadn't heard. So this was a must buy. And I still also have the Beatles' Help! And the reason I still have this one with the lovely gatefold is because even after I bought the CDs, this was the only way I could still have the version of Help with that James Bondian type music at the beginning because it wasn't on the CD album. So I kept that. Also found... This one at a, at a yard sale, Beatles 21, and what is this? And pause if you must, with a lot of weird stuff on that one. Hmm, maybe we should have a look at that one. Oh, oh. that's creepy looking. Look at this. Ooh. Weird albums at the yard sale. And for 69 cents I found, ha, the Sgt. Pepper soundtrack. No collection is complete without one. You know that, even though no one wants to admit they have one. <coughs> okay, got a few 45s to show too, such as this one. Not bad, eh? Hey? Or maybe this one. Actually, this one's an EP. All the way from England. Hmm. And how many of you have the movie medley? Yeah. Or when Free as a Bird first came out? Oh, a new Beatles song. Must have. I did. And one last little thing here, and I do mean little. A CD single of Help. Isn't that cute? Huh. 
And it works too. I just tested it a while ago. No problem. So, and those are my Beatles surviving albums and records and stuff. Hope you enjoyed the look-see. Take care. See you again. Bye-bye. And that's the end.